today I'm going to do a video showing you my nail room from my home. I've been a certified nail technician now for seven years. I do sculpted gel, I do soak off gel. Anyways, I'm going to go around my room, I'm going to show you everything in it, I'm going to show you the products, and if there's anything you'd like to know where I purchased from, just comment below and I'll try and post some links. So anyways, I'm going to start in the corner of my room here and we'll work our way around. First of all is my red leather chair, which is great for when clients bring friends, it's nice and comfortable for them. Above that, my clock, which I'm sure you can hear in the background. I have some mirrors. Over here I have my price list for my clients, right close to my desk. And down below that I have what are called full jersey jewelry. I end up selling quite a bit of this to clients for gifts or for themselves. Uh, they come in 12 millimeter, 10 and 8 millimeters. Um, they are $12 plus tax, or pardon me, actually that's with tax. And it's a, a small fee for shipping if you're interested in purchasing. I can put the link below. They are very sparkly. Hopefully the camera shows that. Little ones are so cute. Those ones are champagne. Okay, and below that, I have some jersey, full jersey rings as well, and some more jewelry there. Moving on over here, there's my, of course, my door to my room, and there's my hook where clients put their jackets and my aprons hanging there right now. And over here, I have uh, all my clients' um, sanitized files with their names on it. We spray them each time. and. Put them in the bag and seal them and we use them for the next time until we need to to grab some new ones. There's my uh, gloves below. Just a few other things stored on there. Moving over here I have my storage closet which comes in handy for extra things. Up top I have a lot of those extra things. And down below because I sell a lot of the druzy earrings and necklaces and rings and whatnot I keep a lot of those supplies there and I have bags for those and over here is my printer which I do my cards for my jewelry there's my containers of jewelry just extra storage down there and moving over to my desk here this is my clients chair it's a salon chair very comfortable because they are going to spend some time when they're getting their nails done, so you want a comfortable chair. Of course, this is my desk. Right there is my K-Line vent. Love it. It sucks in the dust when I'm using my e-file. Over here, we've got my Sun 5 UV and LED lights. They're great. They have sensors. They have a timer. Just love them. Of course, there's their armrest, and over here I have another one, so we don't have to just share a LED light. We have two. And moving over here now, in this container I carry all my um, bits in that from my U, U file. I've even got a, you can see it there. I've got a brush bit and cuticle bits in there. So that's where I store those. A couple more products for nails. I've got this container here. I put a lot of my brushes. Uh, my silicone brushes for chrome powders and whatnot. I've got clippers over here on the side. I've got cuticle pusher right here. Just things like that I store in there. So that's that. I've got my isopropyl alcohol, which I remove my inhibition layers with. I've got my nail prep there. I have um, for the gels, of course, I always put this on before to get the nail ready, the extra strength primer, star nail. Got my brush for removing dust. And of course, my e file, which I just love. And then coming down here, we'll go into my cupboard here. I just have my towels for um, disinfecting with. I have some decals, some extra gel, some nail polish top coat and that for doing some decals with gel, making my own. Okay, coming up here is my desk again. On this side here, I have my hand sanitizer. You gotta have that before you do a service. This 
My, this container, I just love it. I got this actually when I took my course. I'm not sure where they got them from. Um, I've had it since I started taking it. So anyways, it holds all my little wipes. It holds all my good brushes, my crystal picker upper, good brushes over here that I use a lot, little scissors. Okay, moving on over here. I have cuticle oil, which I always do after my service, my Darnell cuticle oil. I have some lotion, love this lotion, not too strong. I have my little container, which I disinfect my bits with. As you can see, I have my ceramic bit in there, that bit I use the most, and it's in for a 10 minute soak before I use it on the next client. And then over here I have my main gels, my Young Nails gels, some tip glue, use that quite a bit so it's there. I have my No Wipe Top Coat there. I have some Young Nails, just a thinner top coat. Some transfer foil glue. Uh, some glue to put around the cuticles when you're stamping. And of course over here you can see my uh, LED light, love that. I've only had that for a couple months. Just works great for lighting when you're doing nails. And here I have my brush holder when I'm doing brushes or art. I put my brushes on there. And moving over here, I have all my containers for my supplies. I love having the, having them at the side and being very accessible when I'm doing nails. Start with the top here. I just purchased this not long ago. It's great for displaying tips and art on them. I do the, use this a lot in videos. It comes in this cute little container. There's a bunch of extra ones to put tips on. For here, I've got my disinfectant sprays, my lint roller for doing stamping, all my extra brushes, which there's whoops, quite a few. My thymol for if anyone has a cut, not for me, but from any little cuts I notice, I'll stick some of that on my clients. Um, some cuticle oil here. Just my glass holder. I do wear glasses when I do nails. Just a little brush for cleaning off my bits before I spray them and putting them in the soak. Over here I have for my mirror and chrome powders all the swatches. It's a big thing right now, so I keep them out. I have some more transfer foil glue, some more glue. Dis disinfecting container, 10 minute soak container, a bigger one for my bigger instruments. Here I keep my phone when I'm doing nails because I do play music with it. And then going down here, we're going to look at what's in my containers. In this one, as you can see, I have them all labeled. This one, see if I can show you here. It says transfer foils. So in here, in this container, I have all my foils. You can see I have quite a few. I even keep my Moira foil gel in there. In that one, and this one has larger embellishments and striping tape and whatnot. So and I do keep some cuticles here just in case I need them. There's all my supplies in here. There's my embellishments, extra ones. So that's in that one. In this container down here, I have my rhinestone wheels. I have a whole bunch. I tend to use these a lot. So I've got. All my colors, of course, different colors and sizes and shapes. So that's what's in that one. Coming down here, I keep my acrylic supplies. I have some more supplies coming. They're not here yet, but this is a few things I keep in here that's acrylic. In the next drawer here, I keep all my tips. I have different stiletto tips, square tips, oval tips. There's my extra tips in here, a whole bunch. I keep my tip cutters in here. There's a couple of them. Lots of glues at the back. Oops, sorry, that shut. And this is just an extra drawer with Kleenex, some bags, some funnels, things like that. Oh, and I should show you here on the side of my desk. My husband stuck this on. It's a a napkin, paper towel dispenser. This is what I use for doing my little f wipes. So I cut those up and yeah, just pull it off there, which works great. And over here, 
course, it's all my colors. I have a whole lot of colors. They're numbered, so I can find them in my storage containers. And they just go on the side there. So coming over to this next container, and this one I have, these are all my colored gels. So I've got those all numbered with my swatches. More there. Some more there. Just a whole bunch. There's all my light elegance glitter gels. Everybody seems to love those. Got a few of those. Down here, some more extra gels. My extra, I actually do a more gels as well. I really like that line, so they're all there. Some extra top coats and whites and that in there. In this bottom one here, I have towels for taking pictures with. I have all my new buffers and files all in there. Some extra supplies as well. Coming to my last container here, I have some Swarovski crystals, glitter shapes, Myra, Myra foil pieces. So there's a whole bunch in there. There's my crystal katana for picking up my Swarovski crystals. I have all my Swarovski crystals here. Their labels and sizes are in there. This thing works really good for picking them up. Down to my next drawer, I have a whole bunch of glitter, some loose glitters, so I can look through that and pick what they like. Some really pretty ones. So yeah, I'll put some that drawer. In the next drawer, going down here, I have all my mirror powders, chrome holographic powders, some extra powders. I have my Sharpie markers, I do art with those. Next one, I have this is just a bunch of kind of things I use a lot. I have a little metal plate here for doing color mixing. This is great for crystals. I have clippers, cuticle nippers. I have just a lot of products in uh, some acetone in a pen. Um, over here, I love these. These are little tiny, tiny brushes for putting the crystals on with the glue. They work well. And in the back here, I'll just lift this out of the way. So these are more extra supplies I have with little containers, some more crystal pens, my little funnel, my little holder for doing my art with, with my polishes, extra containers that have little dispenser thing on the top. So yeah, that's what I'm not sure. Put this back here and we'll move on to the next one. So this drawer, this is all my stamping. I have all my stamping polishes in there. I have all my stampers, my favorite stamper, the cards to scrape with. I that all in there. Below that, some extra products, some sponges in here, some cotton balls, some lint wipes, these are the soakers for removing gel polish, my foils, my nail forms are in here, an extra pair of scissors to cut my things with. And down in the bottom, this is all my stamping plates. I do have a whole lot of those. And in here, are all the square ones and this book is just a photo album I bought from the dollar store and it fits the square ones perfect and then, then my next one here is also a dollar store album and then you can get the baseball card holders so I've used all those for putting my round stamps in got a whole book of those and then I put the little these are actually to put in drawers to keep the drawers so I'm assuming more clean and things from not moving around. I'll just grab one here. So it helps hold the plates in place and so I use those in there as well and I have another album below that of so stamps. So I, up here on my wall I have my certification. I have a lot of my gel polishes. 
I have the little swatches on them just so clients can also see them with the colors and it makes it easier for me to find them as well. So that's what's up there. And so yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions or want to know where I got any of my supplies from, please feel free to ask and I'll do the best I can in answering where I got it from. So thanks for watching. Bye.